The German Shepherd is one of the most intelligent and versatile guardian breeds. Not only do these dogs make amazing companions for active people, but they also will defend you and your home from danger. But how much does it actually cost to own a German Shepherd? Well, in today's video, we're going to discuss the budget needed to responsibly own one of these legendary guardians. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to you learning everything you could ever want to know about the incredible German Shepherd, then how you can become a high-level canine leader that raises perfect German Shepherd companions. So if you love the German Shepherd as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future German Shepherd video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll take a good look at the costs involved in sharing your life with a German Shepherd. And we're going to jump straight into the question of, well, how much it costs to buy a well-bred, pedigree German Shepherd puppy, along with everything else that your new puppy will need, then we'll break all of those costs down. Now, a healthy German Shepherd puppy from an expert breeder is not cheap, and neither should it be. Breeding those high-end working dogs is not easy, especially if you take all the precautions needed to keep the bloodlines free from ailments such as hip and elbow dysplasia. So if you see offers for German Shepherd puppies for three or for only a few hundred dollars, chances are that these will not be responsibly bred puppies. And the last thing that you want to do is accidentally support puppy mills. Now, then there is the cost for all of the vaccinations and the additional vet consultations that your German Shepherd puppy may need, as well as all of the equipment to make sure that everything is set and ready before you bring your new dog home. You will always also want to puppy proof your house, garden or land, and you want to set up everything your little German Shepherd will require, like a large enough crate for a large guardian breed, a comfortable dog bed, bowls for food and water, as well as all the different puppy and training toys that you're going to need. So then, let's list all of those things that we quickly summarised so far, and then we'll look at approximate costs for getting your new German Shepherd puppy. Now, a well-bred German Shepherd puppy should be around two to three thousand US dollars, or the equivalent in your currency. Vaccinations tend to be around a hundred dollars, and getting a good vet consultation in those early stages again another hundred dollars. A crate for large uh, dogs, a really good one, two hundred and fifty dollars, and a good bed the size for a German Shepherd, a hundred dollars. Large dog brows and brushes needed for your German Shepherd's grooming. $50, then you're going to need high quality collars and leads specifically for German Shepherds, like the kind that we have created and sell over at FemrirK9Leaders.com. For something of that quality, you're going to be looking around the $100 to $150 mark again. Now, how are you going to be training your new German Shepherd puppy? If you go to in-person training, you're going to be looking at spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Maybe you want to join the thousands of people that have followed our Perfect Puppy course that is a step-by-step -step program for that entire year. That that's $99 and something that would need to be factored in. Then all of the puppy toys that you're going to need, I usually say to go for around $100 just to get you started. So if we're adding up all of those costs, we reach a total, and this is initial cost, of between approximately $3,000 to $4,000. Now next, let's look at the budget needed to maintain a German Shepherd, and for this purpose, we will list all of the costs broken down month by month. And people always underestimate how expensive owning a dog really is. As we saw, the initial investment is already quite substantial, but make no mistake, this really is only the beginning. The much higher costs come later, uh, the day-to-day -day feeding and caring for such a large dog, who will become a fully grown German Shepherd before long. Adult males can easily grow 40 kilos or around 90 pounds, especially vet bills are something to watch out for, as they can go easily into the thousands if your dog needs to have surgery or have any kind of issues that require ongoing treatment. Now, if you do not have pet insurance, you might find yourself in the horrible situation of having to have your German Shepherd put down simply because you can't afford the treatment. Also, if you want to save money on the feeding front and go for a low quality kibble, you might set your dog up to become seriously ill and potentially even die prematurely. That is why we here at Fenrir encourage all owners to feed their German Shepherds a healthy, well-balanced, raw diet. That's what I personally believe is the best way to feed our dogs. And if you don't want to feed raw, then you absolutely then should be looking for at least a high quality grain-free dry food. 
Now, to give you a better overview of the feeding costs for the German Shepherd, we will compare the costs for raw feeding with the costs of a high quality grain free dry food or kibble. Also, we will list the expenses that you are likely to encounter when owning a German Shepherd moving forward. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested, in following me personally that's at I am Will Afferton where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me that's the place for you so there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there so then those maintenance costs moving forward month by month are gonna be around 200 to $300 a month if you want to feed raw, and then around 100 to $150 if you want to feed a high quality dry food. Now, larger collars or harnesses as your puppy grows, broken down month by month as you need them will probably be around $20 a month moving on. Costs for pet insurance and vet bills will be around $100 a month. Toys for heavy chewers per month, ten dollars upwards now are you going to be sending your dog to doggy daycare or getting dog walkers again something that we highly promote here at Fenrir is that you should be sending your dog to a doggy daycare one day a week ideally two or three days because the socialization that you can achieve ongoing especially with large powerful guardian breeds that absolutely require that ongoing socialization to remove the chance of any dog to dog aggression is something that should be factored in and that can easily be between a hundred to five hundred dollars a month depending on how many days you want to send them now if you go away on vacation a couple of times a year you're going to need boarding while you're away that could easily be $40 a month spread out across the year now adding up all those costs we reach a total monthly maintenance cost for a German Shepherd of between $390 a month on the low end all the way up to $990 a month on the high end so as we can see, owning a German Shepherd and providing it with everything that it needs for a long and healthy life is not cheap. Therefore, before getting one of these energetic guard dogs, make sure that you are in a financial position to comfortably afford everything that they will need. If you are not, then build up your financial basis first and have something to be excited to work towards. Then get your German Shepherd puppy. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you didn't find it too negative. I just think it's one of those situations that from my vast experience, far too many people underestimate and is a huge reason for so many dogs ending up in shelters. And we don't want anybody to be contributing to that when it's simply just a case of really breaking it down and understanding the numbers before you go in to such a large lifelong commitment. So if you did enjoy the video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and remember, subscribe, notification bell. We've got two new German Shepherd videos come into this channel every week and by doing that it means that you'll never miss one of our future videos and I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre German Shepherd Show.